So I try to stick to fresh content as much as I can. Sometimes that doesn't always pan out. And this is a classic example of a week where it didn't work out. I'm actually studying for midterms which are coming up next week. So before I could make YouTube videos, I had to get all my ducks in a row. And by the time it came to making YouTube videos this week, I completely blanked. So I dug through the hard drive of my computer and I pulled out some footage from one year ago of Kyle and I fishing on Loon Lake and we tried to do a catch and cook. Didn't really necessarily work out. One final note I need to make is yes, my hair is extremely, extremely bad in this video. I desperately needed a haircut. Actually, I could use one right now. But my hair is light years better than what you are about to see. Uh, so enjoy the video. definitely keeping so that's true just pulled up my first one he's Monster. really lively oh yeah he's still out now oh yeah you got a hit on the other one i know oh really all right well that's your second perch of the day oh jeepers all right folks so we are set up on the ice right now this is kyle's second fish of the day we're gonna be, a little small we're gonna be keeping fish tonight right now we're out here at loon lake through wallace we just set up i think probably what 20 30 minutes ago i've been putzing around getting cameras ready kyle's been mainly focused on catching fish so we are taking some fish home tonight and that one? that is a big green sunfish free so, fish this the other night and got a couple walleyes and a couple big perch and one pike all right green sunfish kind of a different catch here i honestly was not expecting any sunfish today but there he goes down the hole what i've been using here is just a um, little eyeball spoon i've had a couple of these fall apart so um it's kind of hit or miss if you can get a good one or not it glows in the dark in a purple color and then i'm just tipping that with a minnow i believe this is just a crappie minnow just hooking it through the back here Kind of let that sit on the bottom i give it a few jigs if i see something come on my flasher here i'm just using uh hopefully you can see that yeah, they can see that. It's my dead stick one, and then uh, I'm using just a mini forge minnow spoon on my other rod that I'm jigging with. And I've caught fish on both, so. Hopefully we can replicate what we did the other day off camera. Stay tuned, stick with it, and we'll see you guys in a bit. Yeah. Is that what you say? Something like that. I think at night, that's uh, going to be bomb for walleyes. This is true. I mean, I feel like at sunset, the walleyes just kind of turn on. I just got another nice keeper perch. Yeah. And there's another one down there, so. I don't feel like I have a minnow down there. Hey, that's why. I don't have a minnow down there. Why doesn't that make some sense? Oh, look, now there's one on the screen. Are we going to cook them up in this episode, too? We could. We going to cook them up? Oh, my gosh. They're, oh, yeah, there's, they're, they're down there. He, I got him. You got him? Bigger? Oh, huh? he came off. He was all the way up. I hand-lined him there for a second because he came up so quick. Dang it. I'm going to pretend like I didn't even know what just happened. He's back alive. Oh, is that the frozen one? Yeah. Really? That guy was frozen and he just kicked again. Do you reckon this one will get off the hook too? Oh, he didn't have a bite. Whoa. Oh my gosh, dude. I mean, whatever that was, that was huge. Oh, yep. There goes the battery, I think. There it goes. Yep. My flasher is officially dead. Did get a new flasher. It is a Zircom. Courtesy of Brian Fisher, who watches the channel and is a family friend. So thank you, Brian. Huge shout out to you. Um, it's working great. <laughs> oh, that might be why, huh? What's wrong? Like, is there like, are these trebles absolute garbage? Is this? Got him. What was it? Perch? Yeah, decent perch. It's not a bad one. Have they seen us catch a perch? Yeah, they've seen you catch a perch. I got five perch. I turned the camera off for a bit because it was getting a little repetitive after a while. I was just about to throw on some, it's, what are they? Cheese, Cheese. quesadilla. Ooh, this is going to be fun. I am lactose intolerant, so I'll just deal with this later. Same here. You lactose intolerant too? Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, so we're both lactose intolerant. Oh yeah, no, you can see you catch, oh yeah, I actually, yep, yeah, mm-hmm. All right, well. Kyle linked up with another one. Oh my gosh, we got four on the heater now. Kyle's really got an appetite going in. Oh, we got one. Dave's got one. Nice one. Fire tiger perch pattern spoon here. I switched up to a buckshot spoon, which is the same pattern that this perch is. So this perch is a bit of a cannibal here. This is my first perch of the day. You've seen Kyle pull out quite a few of these already. Kind of cool colors on this guy. I don't know how many stripes he's got. He's got two, three, four. You could probably go to six on this one. Yeah, no, this one's probably got to go back here. Is he smaller than the rest? Yeah, he's smaller. Okay, good. No, you're not dead. There you go. Okay. Oh yeah, I saw that. 
Wow, look out. Wow. Chicken quesadilla. Woo. Doesn't look too bad. Let's try it out here. That's pretty good. Thank you, Kyle. Yeah, of course. It's pretty good. Nearly dropped my keys down the hole for that fish. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, this is Kyle's first walleye of the night, right? Sure enough, Ooh. as soon as the sun goes down and Dave turns the cameras off, so we're gonna throw him on the ice then? Yeah. Oh yeah. What you guys missed is the fish popped off in the hole. Kyle proceeded to absolutely fall and eat it, but he managed to grab the fish and his keys, which were about to fall down the hole, also all in one go. So, Kyle's a lucky man, and he's come walking away with his keys and the walleye. All right, everyone, welcome back. It is all of what the windshield says it is. Negative nine feels like negative 29. We are back at Kyle's house. We have fish thawing out in a bucket. Our haul tonight consists of six yellow perch and one ah, decent walleye. Yeah, you see him right there? All right, everyone, so we were just, oh, you still got him there? I have something to show you. We found ourselves a couple of worms embedded in our fillets when I was taking a closer look here. And I started looking around at all of them and they all, most of them have worms. So I don't know if they're hookworms or if they're tapeworms or there's some sort of parasitic worm. And uh, we're gonna stay on the safe side here because I do know for a fact that Loon, Crystal, and that whole chain has a problem with blue-green algae and it has a problem with water clarity and a bunch of other different things in summer. But we're gonna stay on the safe side here and we're probably just gonna throw these out. So PSA, we're going to McDonald's. I'm gonna go get some food grade food. Don't get me wrong, like technically everything's good once you cook it, but I mean, that's the problem is you have to fully cook it and when it comes to fish, it's very hard to tell when that is. And usually when you fully cook it, it's usually like burnt and then it's not desirable and then it doesn't taste very great. There's a couple that are actually embedded into the fillets. Uh, I took a microbio class, so it kind of ruined everything outdoors that I do. I still do it, you know, but I want to make sure it's from a good body of water and I had a whole college class at MSU. That's where I attend college. And it was basically solely on the Loon and Crystal Lake chain for most of the semester and covering their pollutants and stuff. I knew Loon was a bit better, but I didn't think it was gonna be on this level. So if you're ever keeping fish in the area and you do end up fishing Loon and Crystal, I would recommend throwing this, these fish back. I know a lot of the local boys eat them. Hats off to you, Go, good for you. Um, uh, I'm gonna play it safe tonight. And Kyle, I think is on board with that. McDonald's it is. Thank you all for watching today's episode. A special shout out and thank you to Kyle for letting me tag along with him and uh, let me clean up some fish in his garage. Mission of the day was to basically get out, enjoy this day, catch a couple walleye. We didn't really find the walleye, but we did find the perch and we did manage to, you know, get a few of them. I'd say that would be, you wanna do it? Oh, sure. Mission complete.